Hi guys, I am back again with another cha-ching video. This makes for cha-ching number six. So I'm just going to go over a couple of things that have sold recently for me on eBay. I tried to let you know what I paid for them and then what they sold for. Now, there are some things that I am doing slightly differently uh, with my eBay auctions. For a very, very, very long time, I offered free shipping and that worked for me. Um, I I like being able to offer free shipping and then the way I do it was when, you know, I'd price something, I would build the shipping cost kind of into the price. So it might be like slight like look slightly higher, but that's because the shipping cost is actually, you know, in with that um, base cost. So I just kind of started doing a little bit of testing here and there with things, especially stuff like um, under a pound right now is what I'm focusing on, but obviously I'm gonna um, change over some of my other auctions to shipping. And I noticed that I had a slight increase in sales with some things by putting shipping on my auctions, which I thought, you know, I was in the mindset that offering free shipping was like the way to go essentially because people like free shipping, but being able to take that shipping cost out of my price and then add it into it being the actual shipping cost, it lowers the price essentially of what it, you know, the auction looks like. And that in turn, I think like people see that lower price and they're like, oh my gosh, like this is way cheaper and then they buy it but you know, they're still paying a shipping cost. So it still ends up being the same price that it was originally listed at, but you know, it looks slightly cheaper without the shipping cost. So that's just like a little bit of thing I'm kind of just playing around with. I wouldn't say that like all of my auctions are going to have shipping or anything like like that. I mean, I might still offer free shipping on stuff, but I'm just kind of like playing around with it and seeing how it goes. And since I saw an increase in my sales since I did that, uh, I think I might play around with it a little bit more. So we'll see how that all goes, but I'm just going to go through, um, I think I have 15 things down here. This isn't everything by any means, uh, but a lot of these are ones that I haven't started putting shipping costs on. So you'll see that when they um, pop up in the picture, it'll probably still say free shipping on all of those. Uh, but let's see, the first one that I have here is a Mary Kay cologne. I just purchased these, um, well I only sold one so far, um, I did have two. I purchased these at a thrift store not that long ago, just a couple weeks ago. I paid $15 for this cologne and it sold for $59.99. And I knew it would probably sell around that price because I looked up solds for it and it seemed to consistently be selling at or around $50-ish. So that was... That was awesome that I, I sold one of those already. Now I still have one more to sell. And I did pay a little more than what, you know, I like to pay on things to resell. Uh, but I knew that that one consistently sold. So I had no problem picking it up. So another thing that I sold was a Starbucks mug. And this came from a shoebox full of mugs that Eric purchased at the Goodwill. We paid... $4.99 for a shoe box full of mugs and we bought two boxes. So two boxes of mugs at $4.99 a shoe box. We already made our money back on the mugs that we've already sold. So, you know, I sold this one for $29.99. So, but we definitely already made our money back on what we spent for the mugs to buy to resell so that's fantastic we we still have a few more listed that haven't sold yet uh, but for the most part um, most of them have already sold so that's awesome next we have a Jenga game and this is <laughs> this one was pretty wild um, back when Eric and I first moved in together we purchased this at I want to say Target we got two different games. And we liked the fact that they were wood. They were really nicely made. They looked great in the bookcase that we had. 
uh, just kind of displayed, but we literally, I think, played it one time and that was it. It just kind of sat in there collecting dust. Well, apparently these things have become slightly collectible, some more than others. Not every one of these is worth a lot, uh, but definitely if you ever see the Jenga out and about to pick it up. And they're basically all wood, really nicely made. They're kind of made to look like a book, basically. So when you have them displayed, they just look, you know, really nice, sat out. Uh, so I don't know exactly what we paid for this. We did buy it at Target. This was years and years ago. Uh, and we did pay, you know, full price for whatever it was at the store. But we definitely <laughs> made way more money on it than what we paid because there's no way we paid this much for it. But it sold for $62.99, which is crazy. I do have one other game. I think it's the Game of Life. Again, we played it. I don't even know if we played that one. That one might still have its pieces in in the little wrappers and all that. I haven't checked yet, but I do plan on listing that one as well, just because we, we never we never play them. Uh, when we have free time together, you know, we're doing other things. <laughs> doing other things. We're doing other things. Uh, <laughs> so that was a really awesome sale. So if you ever see these games out at yard sales and stuff like that, definitely look them up, see, you know, if the one you found is really worth picking up because they are on the heavy side so definitely just keep that in mind they are like all the Jenga blocks were well I think Jenga blocks are wood but these were like really really nicely made all right so the next thing that I have is a pair of Ariat jeans I just purchased these at Goodwill when they had their dollar black barb dollar clothing day so it wasn't that long ago I purchased the jeans for a dollar, they were one dollar, and they sold for $39.99. They sold fairly quick, like I had them listed and I'd say it was a couple of days that they were listed and they sold. So I definitely would pick up more jeans of that brand for sure. Doubt I'll ever find them again for a buck, but if I do, hey, that would be awesome. So next thing I have is another a piece of clothing. This one I also got at Goodwill. It was not on Dollar Day though. This is by, um, the company's name was called Bobby Fresh and it was a really sweet graphic print on the front that said Thrilla. Um, I just was drawn to the fact that it was a neat print and I think it was also a larger size. Um, Goodwill shirts are about like $4.75 I want to say at um, Goodwill's around my area. So I spent $4.75 on the shirt and it sold for $23.99. So that one I had listed for a little while, but it did sell and when I bought it, I was pretty confident that it would just because of the fact that it was just a really cool shirt. The next thing we have is a box of Cloisson little uh, hinged pill boxes. We purchased these, or I should say we won these at the auction, um, and <laughs> we won these kind of at a high price. It was $19 I spent on them, uh, but I was just really interested in them. I thought they were cool, and I thought for sure someone would probably buy them at the price point that I listed them at, and someone did, and they ended at $59.99 is what I posted them for. So that was awesome, and you know, finding stuff like that, like something that like I've never sold before kind of thing, it just, it gets me all excited. Like, oh yeah, that's really cool. Like something I found to be awesome, like someone else wanted. So I was happy about that. Next we got another mug. There was a lot of mugs that went out. Uh, this one was a Disney Goofy mug and again this came from the shoebox. Shoebox is full of mugs that we got at Goodwill. So I'm not really going to say a price because we already made our money back off of the mugs. This one sold for $25.99. So definitely for me anyway, here lately, Disney mugs and Starbucks mugs are definitely worth picking up. Um, especially like if you can get them for a very cheap price. I'd be hesitant to spend like say $5 plus for a single mug. I mean, it would have to be something incredibly amazing at that price point, but to get a box full for $5, like that's a no brainer for me to grab. Um, or I should say Eric to grab because he's the one who purchased those. 
Next, we have a jacket. This is by a brand called Joseph Ribkoff, and I find this brand pretty frequently, I would say, around different thrift stores in different areas. It is a more higher-end brand, um, but I don't think it's as maybe well known or anything like that but it definitely has a following i mean there are a lot of women who love their clothes and they're very nice quality uh, so this jacket i got at a thrift store and i think it might have been on a half off day because so, i think it was a saturday it was originally eight something so i paid four and some change for it and i sold it for 45 dollars and 99 cents and i do have some other uh, pieces by this brand listed that haven't sold yet. And then um, I have had some that already sold. So it's just a brand that I myself like picking up when I see it just because I have sold um, pieces by the brand. So I like picking it up. And like I said, I know it's nice quality. Next we have a Precious Moments Anesco cow from the Precious Moments Nativity uh, set. Eric purchased this. Again, it was a shoebox full of Precious Moments pieces. You guys probably saw it in one of our videos. We paid $2.99 for the box, but we already made our money back off of the $3 we spent on the box. And this cowl sold for $29.99. So I know I had said it in the video that like I was always under the impression that Precious Moments was worthless. And that is not the case. Not all of it is worthless. So definitely keep an eye out for that, especially uh, the nativity set pieces. Uh, next we have a pair of shoes. I love selling shoes. I don't know what it is, but like shoes get me excited because some shoes can just sell for amazing prices. So this pair is a pair of Tory Burch loafers. I actually purchased these at a yard sale last summer. If you guys have been following me since then, you probably saw me um, haul these. I paid $10 for them at the sale. I was just so excited because I had never really found uh, much Tory Burch while out and about. And I found these for 10 bucks and I sold them just the other day for $49.99. So I sat on them for a little while. I mean, it's been since last summer since I had them, but um, they did sell and I'm happy about that. They were really, really nice. All right, so we got more mugs. This one was more of the Starbucks mugs from the same shoe boxes. I sold so many of them. Uh, so this we lauded as uh, two mugs because they were the same exact mug. So just in case whoever buys it wants it for you know their significant other or whatnot. So again, already made the money back on the box. These as a lot sold for $39.99. And these mugs, like to me, like I wouldn't necessarily say they're plain, but like when I think of Starbucks mugs, I think more of like the the, the uh, country mugs and the, the city mugs and stuff like that. The things that have uh, more like detail on them and more colorful and print and more colorful prints and stuff like that. But even the more plainer ones sell as well. So definitely don't just overlook those. Um, so next we have a Torrid shirt. I love picking up Torrid. It's one of those brands that I think just sells really well. I mean, not like for crazy high prices or anything like that, but it's like when I find it, I kind of want to pass along like the awesomeness of what I find to someone else. And the shirt was just crazy awesome. It was a regular price at Goodwill, which was $4.75, and I sold it for $22.99. So again, it's not like huge profits, but when I find something cool, I just like to buy it and, you know, send it along to someone else who is going to love it. So that one was a really awesome shirt. I apologize. I had someone comment on one of that video, I think, asking if I still had it. I ended up, um, it had already sold, but um, if you are a fan of Torrid stuff, like, know that if I see it, if I find it at, like, good prices and things like that, I will pick it up to list for you guys if you're interested. Uh, so next we got a pair of sneakers. These are by The North Face, which is, you know, a great brand. Um, 
These were a little on the pricier side for Goodwill. They were marked at $9.99, but they were in great condition, barely looked used, just really nice pair of sneakers, and they sold at $59.99. So these were the sneakers that, I don't know if you remember in like my, um, I might have mentioned it in my auction video that um, I had sold something and the buyer actually wanted these shoes before um, the following Friday and I wanted to get to the post office and make sure they got sent out as quickly as possible so that he could have them from when he needed them. So um, that's what I was referring to in that video was those sneakers. So, and he did get them before the date that he needed them. So that's awesome. I just got a feedback from him uh, today actually. Uh, next we have another pair of shoes. These are, uh, oh gosh, these shoes were absolutely beautiful. Um, they're logo by Lori Goldstein, or Stein, Lori Goldstein. Um, she sells her stuff, I believe, on QVC. Just really nice. Oh my god, these were the most beautiful brocade booties I've ever seen in my life. And they were brand new. I can't remember exactly where I bought them. I'm pretty sure I got them at a thrift store. Uh, but I can't remember exactly what I paid for them. I've had them for a while. Um, I had them priced at $59.99 and that's what they sold for. Um, they had watchers for like, you know, ever since I listed them. But it just like took that right person that wanted them like right then. Uh, so I was sitting on them for a little while. But I don't mind sitting on beautiful shoes like that because I know... At some point, someone will buy them because they're just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm glad that someone is going to love those. Unfortunately, they weren't my size or I would have kept them for myself. Um, and then I'm gonna finish this video off. I'm gonna finish this video off with another pair of shoes just because I love shoes so much. So these were a pair of Alpine Stars um, motorcycle boots. Uh, the more like sport bike type of um motorcycles. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe motocross. I honestly have no idea. Eric knew a little bit more about them than I did. Uh, but it seems like Goodwill prices their sneakers that are, I guess, nicer or whatever at $9.99. Uh, so these ones we did pay $9.99 for. But they actually sold for $89.99. So that was a great sale. Again, we had these for a little while, but it just takes like the right buyer. That's why like I don't mind sitting on things for a little while if I have to. Um, because not everyone's going to be looking for exactly what you have for sale the moment you, you get it listed. You know what I mean? That's just the the realness of eBay. Um, it's about finding the right buyer for your item. And that could be tomorrow or it could be a week from now, a month from now, a year from now. It's just, it's just one of those things. Like it's not gonna, it, it's not necessarily gonna sell for you like the minute you post it up for sale kind of thing. And that's just how it goes, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, we're at teaching number six. I try to do them as often as possible just to kind of let you guys know what things are selling for so you can keep an eye out for similar things or similar brands and that kind of stuff when you're at thrift stores and whatnot, um, just to be a little helpful. Like I don't do these videos to brag or anything. It's strictly to help you guys out. That's why I do them. Like these, I, a lot of eBay sellers, I don't think really care for people who make YouTube videos that share these kind of like secrets or whatnot, but I'm all about people like, you know, finding good deals and making some money off of some things. Like if I can do it, you can do it kind of thing. And I have no problem uh, sharing the information and stuff like that. It's not, it's not a contest or, you know, anything like that. Um, so, you know, I don't mind sharing it with you guys. So I hope you're finding it informative. Uh, you had to let me know like what you thought down below. If you are a reseller and you've sold any of these items, maybe any of these brands or anything like that, then just let me know down in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.